Lawmakers are working on a bill to end the state's tax on overtime pay. Uh, supporters of the bill say it'll put more money in Alabamians' pockets. News 19's Carmen Fuentes joins us live with more on how uh, this could impact people. Carmen. Hey, Lauren, Steve, those in support of this bill believe that this will help employers both hire and retain workers, and they also believe that it'll help with worker productivity. House Minority Leader Anthony Daniels is sponsoring this bill, and he says it's practically a pay raise for workers and thinks that it'll help with the participation in the state's labor force as a whole. This bill does also have bipartisan support with House Speaker Nathaniel Ledbetter co-sponsoring this bill. Firefighters don't quit because the clock strikes four o'clock. It's time to go home. They quit when the job's done. It doesn't matter if you're a utility worker, if you're out there in a storm or a tornado or a hurricane, the worst weather God has to offer is when they're working. This would give them an opportunity to keep those wages in their pocket. Legislation has already passed in the House, but has seen some changes in the Senate. An amendment passed capping the amount of overtime pay an employee can earn at $2,000 before it will be taxed. This amendment aims to actually lessen the blow to the state's education budget from an estimated $45 million to $21 million. This bill has not yet received a vote in the Senate, but there are there are only two meeting days left in this legislative session for lawmakers to pass bills. Reporting live this morning, Carmen Fuentes, News 19.